Hi, I'm Dee Jones with My Mardell Homeschool, and I'm here today to present to you a Simple Plan Homeschool Planner. We're real excited about this planner because it's exclusive to Mardell, and we created it for the homeschool family. And when we created this, the thought behind it was is that we wanted to offer something to the homeschool family that was simple. So I'm going to take some time right now to explain to you the thought process that went behind this planner. First of all, we wanted to do something for you that would just be simply a planner for your academic needs. And so a simple plan really is exactly what its name is. It's just a simple plan for you to be able to keep track of your academic schedule. Some of the things that set this planner apart from others that are out there is that first is that it can accommodate up to six children. Another nice feature of a simple plan is that it covers an entire year. Most academic calendars only have nine months, but with a simple plan, we have an entire year. And the reason why we did that was is that we recognize that homeschool families do not always do school according to a regular academic calendar. And so for that reason, if you start school in May, or you start school in December, you can begin wherever you want. One of the things that really mattered to us when we were creating a simple plan was to have a look that would be appealing and beautiful for moms. We wanted it to be feminine, and even though it's functional and something that we use every day, we really wanted it to be something that was eye-catching and beautiful just sitting around on your table. After all, it's something that you're gonna have with you all year long, so why not make it beautiful? The first thing we'll look at inside the planner are the pockets, and this is really great for sticking reports down or notes if you go to co-op or whatever you need it for, but the pockets are just a nice additional feature to the planner. The first section of the planner that I'd like to show you is called the student page. And the student page, here I've used my daughter, Anna Grace, and what it is is it's a page that allows you to set up what an ideal weekly schedule would look like. You're able to think through, when is your child at their peak? Is it morning? Is it later in the afternoon? And you're able to set their school schedule to something that would be ideal for you and your family. Down at the bottom, you have a place for subjects. So what subjects am I going to teach this year? And then also, what curriculum am I going to use? And so this just allows you to customize a schedule for each one of your students. The next page and section that we have in the planner is called a yearly overview. A yearly overview is what I like to call canopy planning. This is where you're able to take that curriculum out, you're able to look through it, and be able to plan your year based on your schedule. And this would be taking into consideration Christmas vacation, Thanksgiving, all of the things that you would break for taking that into consideration with your start and your end date. And it also allows you to get comfortable with your curriculum, really get to know it and see how it's broken down and how you're gonna make it work for you. At the beginning of each one of these tabs, you have a month at a glance. This allows you as the mom to sit back and to do some planning each month before the month actually begins. What things would I like to accomplish this month that are outside of the norm or outside of our regular routine? You have a section down here for special activities. Maybe you want to get one more trip into the zoo before the weather turns off cold. Or maybe you have parties that you need to go to that month or something that is different than your regular activities that you would do that you want to get down on your calendar. The next section is supplies needed. Now this section allows you a place to be able to think through science projects, craft projects, different things that you might need some supplies that are out of the norm of what you would have at home. And so you're able to get these down because there's nothing more frustrating than sitting down at the table trying to start a science project and not having the things that you need. And the last thing on your month at a glance is your reading list. Now I've had a lot of moms share with me that they use this reading list as a way of really making a library list of what they want to check out from the library ahead of time. And so this allows them a place to be able to do that. Now for me, I always created a reading list because I wanted to be able to know what we were going to accomplish reading that month. And so whether you're using it to check books out from the library or using it as a record of what you're reading, whatever way works for you, but it's just a great way to pre-plan for the month. The very next page under your monthly tab is a full glance calendar. And what this allows you to do is to get everything down on your calendar that you have planned for that month. 
And I always tell mom, use a pencil, first of all. Don't ever let a pen touch your planner. Always use a pencil. Because after all, a planner is to work for you, not you working for the plan. So what you do is you write down everything that you know is on your schedule. If you go to church on Wednesday night, write it down. If you have soccer practice on Thursday, write it down. All of these things are gonna help you to better plan for the rest of your week when you're planning out your weekly school schedule of what you wanna accomplish. One of the things that I have found is that if we do not write it down on our schedule, what ends up happening is that other things come up and we end up being overcommitted. When you get everything down on your calendar, you're able to look at it and count the cost to other things that are asked of you throughout the month. And you can see if you have time for it or not. And then as you're planning your academic calendar here in a minute, your weekly schedule, as you're planning it, refer back to your calendar so that that helps you to be able to know, you know what, we've got we're going to the dentist and everyone's getting their teeth cleaned on Tuesday, so we are not going to be able to get much school done on Tuesday afternoon. Next is your weekly planning. And this is where you would write down the lessons that you want your children to accomplish. Again, this planner works for up to six kids. And so on your weekly plans, this is where you would put the subjects down the side. So I would write their initials on the line and write what they were going to do in math or English or so forth. Um, right there. And then we've left these little circles here. And for moms that like to check off after things are done, this is a perfect place to put that check and know that the work is done. We didn't include a weekend. And we talked about this and kind of mulled over it because we understand that some, some people do do school on the weekends. But what we thought instead was that we would leave a note section. And on this note section, if you have work that you want to assign for a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, that's fine. Go ahead and put it in the note section. But if not, use that note section to make yourself notes as you're teaching school and you've got that planner right out in front of you of things that, that maybe just come to mind right there that will be gone if you don't get it written down. Now, at the very end of the planner, we've included a couple extra things. And we've actually got some of those in the sample pages here. One of the things that we have is a curriculum tracker. And this allows you a place to be able to write down the curriculum that you're using, where you bought it at, how much you paid for it. Also, as you loan things out or you borrow things, this is a great place to keep up with it as well. The very last thing that I'd like to discuss in the planner with you is what we call the attendance tracker. And we've got an attendance tracker for each one of your students. And the purpose of this is, is that in many states, you have to keep track of your attendance. And so we wanted to have this as an offering in our planner. In the very back of a simple plan, you'll find a section called extras. We've included a grading scale for your convenience and a reading list that lists out the classics starting with kindergarten going through 12th grade. To learn more about a simple plan, visit us at your local Mardell store or online at mymardellhomeschool.com.